Did you know that the cutting board gets a lot of exposure to the bacteria? It is because it gets a lot of use. Did you also know that there's a proper way to clean and sanitize your cutting board or chopping board, whatever. Proper cleaning of the cutting board is essential to your good health. And without further ado, let's start this video. Having problems with the remaining bits of goodies left in your cutting board? Then here's a hack for you! Use a metal scraper or spatula to scrape away remaining bits and pieces of food. After that, throw away the scrapings into the garbage disposal, garbage receptacle, or just trash it in a trash bin. And to completely perform the ritual of cleaning the chopping board or the cutting board, just use the sponge with warm soapy water and scrub the board thoroughly. After you scrub the board, hang it and let it be dry. Or you can put it in a dishwasher, which we don't have right now, so I'm just going to tell you how it should be done. The dishwasher should be in temperature of at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you can place your cutting board inside of it. But, you also want to put high-density plastic cutting board into the dishwasher. For if you put the other type of cutting board, you don't want to know what's going to happen. How about removing stains from the cutting board? Can I remove it? Luckily, there's a solution for it. To remove stains, you need a vinegar and calamansi. First, wet the stained area with water and then sprinkle it with vinegar and calamansi. and allow it to melt undisturbed for 24 hours. If you're a rich kid or something, um, you can use a diluted bleaching agent solution for a better result. Or if you want just a simple solution, then go back to the video where we explain the vinegar and calamansi solution. It's much more cheaper. You can also use salt to clean your stained chopping board. How? by creating a paste. Using the salt and a tiny bit of water, create the paste. Use a clean toothbrush to scar or scrub the paste on the stained area of the cutting board. After that, rinse it with fresh water. Repeat the procedure to be assured that you have removed all the stain. Once again, rinse the board with mild hot water, hang it, and let it dry. Plastic and wooden cutting boards can be sanitized using diluted liquid chlorine bleach solution. For this solution, combine 1 teaspoon of bleach and 1 quart of water. If you don't have any measuring tools, just make a good estimate. Pour the solution onto the entire surface area of the board and allow it to sit undisturbed for several minutes. After that, rinse the board with clean water. Allow it to air dry or use a clean cloth to dry it. You can also use vinegar solution if you don't want to use the bleach. Just simply combine one part of vinegar and five parts of water. And again, if you don't have any measuring tools, just make a good estimate. 
Then pour the solution onto the cutting board and allow it to sit for a while. Then afterward, rinse the board with clean water and dry it with a clean cloth or just air dry it. And for storing cutting board, here's how it should be done. Once the cutting board has completely dried, store it vertically or in an upright position. This helps to avoid moisture from getting trapped underneath the board and the accumulation of dust and grime. Now that we have learned how to properly clean, remove stain, sanitize, and store the cutting or chopping board, then what are you doing? Apply what you have learned. You have learned to clean your cutting board, then clean your cutting board. And for that, we're saying goodbye now. See you in the next episode of How to Basics!